I, I grew up in Nigeria, um, in the northern part of Nigeria, Sokoto, uh, in uh, the capital of Sokoto State. And uh, I've always loved cars since I was a little kid. And uh, my, uh, my brothers and dad also loved cars a lot. And uh, I love drawing, so I thought I'd put the two together to really go into car design. Uh, and as you know, there's nothing like that in, in Nigeria. Actually, in the whole of Africa, there's no car design. Uh, so I had to uh, go outside Nigeria to study uh, automobile design. When he arrived in the USA, Jelani Aliyu, like many newcomers to a different country, had some challenges. The hardest thing I think was the weather, especially I came in the middle of uh, January. Uh, so in the middle of winter, I left Nigeria, it was very, very hot. Nigeria, Sokoto, coming to, to Michigan, very cold. So that was really the biggest uh, challenge that I had. And the school itself was very, very challenging because uh, it's, uh, a lot of people wanted to get into car design, but there were only a few spots. So you really had to be one of the best to get in there. And the competition between the, 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 the students was really stiff. Despite these challenges, Jelani excelled as a student and left a memorable impression among his teachers and fellow students. I found Jelani exceptionally gifted as a designer, but more uh, surprising was of all the students we had <coughs> at uh, CCS at that time, he spoke English better than uh, any of the American students who were there. And indeed, I uh, gave him the title Poet Laureate of Transportation Design because uh, not only were his designs very high standard, but his verbal presentation of his design were exceptional. I mean, the best I've ever had from any student. He always asked the question that was the most searching and it had the most uh, profound consequences. Other students would ask questions like, uh, 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 if, we, if we see this uh, building, uh, can we assume that it's in 1910? And Jelani, his question would be more like, what characteristics of 1910 buildings allow me to identify them? You see, it's a, it's a, there's, a, there's a greater depth and a greater searching on his part than most of my students. And the other students, I think, uh, it elevated the class as a whole because of that. Upon graduating from college, Jelani was hired by General Motors as a car designer. Today, he is one of the top car designers in the world, and his design philosophy is heavily influenced by his humble beginnings in Northern Nigeria. You know, car design, because it takes quite a while between the time you come up with the concept uh, between that and the time it hits the road, it takes a while, so we're always dealing with the future. So in car design, you must be able to really look down the road, see what the competition is, and come up with solutions. And I personally, grown up in Africa, I, uh, I take a lot of my inspiration from nature. Um, and I try to pull from that and put into my designs. For example, you know, when you look at uh, planet Earth, you see that we live on a truly magical planet. It's a gigantic orb of life hurtling through space. Everywhere we look around us, we're surrounded by wonders of our natural world. From the tiny leaf, only fractions of a millimeter thick, and yet highly efficient factory, to the amazing sea rays that glide within the deep waters of the Atlantic, planet Earth is a perfect balance of beauty and practicality. So I reach into nature, take my inspiration, learn from it, and I apply it to car design. Recently, Jelani received global acclaim for leading the design team for the Chevrolet Volt, a car that is seen as the future of General Motors, one of the world's largest car maker. That, from General Motors' point of view, the Volt was a car that was representing the future of General Motors. The fact that every designer at General Motors was given the opportunity to design that car, and all the designers at General Motors, not only in the United States, but in Britain and Germany, submitted ideas for this project because it was considered so important. And the fact that Jelani's uh, design was the one chosen out of maybe 200 submissions from all the designers at General Motors uh, speaks volumes about uh, his potential and his growth and where he will eventually wind up. Despite his achievements, Jelani is still truly Nigerian and holds everything about his home country to heart. 
He is particularly troubled by the negative perceptions about Nigeria created in the global media. In life, everything has its positives and negatives. And you can find something wrong with, with any community, with any part of the world. And uh, it's not right to really talk about the negative from uh, about Nigeria. There's the positive far exceeds the negative. And uh, that's what I dwell on. I just keep focused. And I know people might think negatively, but uh, there's a lot of Nigerians. I think Nigerians as a whole are doing good. And they're contributing significantly to the development of the United States, to the development of, 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 of a lot of countries around the world, and most especially their own country. So I keep that as my focus, and uh, I, I use that to just continue going forward. Jelani also has a lot of advice for other Nigerians like him that are working and making a living in other nations around the world. There's so much potential in Nigeria that really all the people from Nigeria living outside the country should really contribute to the development of that great nation. Um, it is great you know, to, to live outside and, and, and make, a, make, make a living, but I think we, it's, there's, 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 a, there's a, if I could say, spiritual call to really contribute to, to, to our roots. Uh, there's, it's just amazing. I mean, each time I think of Nigeria and the potential that exists, the potential in the people, the potential in the land, is just mind-boggling what could be done. And so Nigerians in the diaspora really need to look at that and know that there's a potential that they can, and this has to be, you know, this is something that has to be done by both Nigerians inside and outside. And, but together, Nigerians everywhere can really make a big difference and make Nigeria one of the best countries in the world. In appreciation of Jelani's role as a worthy ambassador for the nation, the Nigerian Foundation of Michigan last year recognized him at the Independence Day dinner held in Detroit, Michigan. Jelani Aliyu is an embodiment of that that Nigeria needs, creativity, honesty, worthy ambassador. And I, I have nothing to say but praise it for him. Today, Jelani is living his dream and has some advice for young Nigerians who dream of someday being at the top of their professions. It reminds me of uh, many years ago when I had a dream myself. And a lot of people said, no, you, 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 you just can't do that. We don't even make cars in Nigeria. Why do you want to become a car designer? But I had a, I had a big dream. I had, a, I had the passion. And I know that nothing is impossible. We must never underestimate the power of the human determination and human imagination. When, 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 we, when we see a young kid beginning to excel, or beginning to have interest in something, it is up to the community and the parents to really help that person try to nurture that gift so that they can get better and better. But the biggest thing is never to lose hope and to really believe in, in, in your imagination and really go for what you want to do. And even if everybody around you says you can't do it, never give up, just keep on going. 